Hey Leo, hope your week is going well. We're gonna get into your reading. So Leo, this is gonna be a general reading, so this will not resonate with every single Leo out there. Please check your rising, excuse me, wow, moon rising and Venus sign because this will not resonate with every single Leo out there. My name is Delilah, by the way. So it's nice to meet y'all. Some of you guys are new. My rule of thumb is if you really have to sit here and stress yourself out and boggle your mind to make this message from spirit fit to, for your life and fit to you, it, the message is not for you, boo. Just come on back the next time I upload and hopefully it will be for you, you know? So we're pretty chill here. Uh, just no like negative vibes. Like please don't be rude in the comments. Like I said, if it doesn't resonate with you, then just, you know, chalk it up as a loss. But let's get into your reading, Leo. Let's see what's going on. I just want to get one more good shuffle in first. All right, this is going to be for Leo. What's going on with Leo? First card we have is the Four of Wands. Then we have the High Priestess. We have the Knight of Swords. The Moon card. The Devil card. Then we have the Three of Wands, the Ace of Swords, whoa, these cards are flying, and we have the Wheel of Fortune, then we have the Ten of Wands. The Lover's card. The Six of Wands. And then we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, Leo, so starting out your reading, here we have Fire Energy, the Four of Wands. So Leo, Sag, and Aries Energy. This is all about home life. This is about like passion and new beginnings. You could have just recently committed to somebody. I feel like maybe you just moved in with somebody new. Maybe you moved back in with family. But I definitely do feel like you have changed locations and are really happy to be somewhere new. This is also the 1111 card, so it's a good sign that you're on the right path and just on the right point in your life for your journey. Following up with that, we have the High Priestess. This is Cancer Energy, but this is also all about inner knowing. The And one thing to note about the High Priestess is she's also pregnant. And I kind of feel like, I do feel like somebody's pregnant. Um, I don't feel like it's really out yet. It could be a secret. That's what I'm getting here. And with the number two, it calls for balance. But the High Priestess really relies on her intuition. She is very all-knowing in her own mind and she's very comfortable with her own thoughts and her own emotions. She's also very secretive as to where she doesn't really let anybody really get to know her, so to speak. Because you see this big long drape, you can't even see what's behind her. She only shows you what she wants to show you. However, here at the Knight of Swords, there's some really fast communication coming in and it's about some secrets and I feel like, I, I do feel like somebody's pregnant and I feel like if you're pregnant, the secret might get out or you might tell somebody. I feel like it is going to come up as a discussion and that's really what I'm getting here. And with the double card, I don't feel like you necessarily want the secret to get out and I kind of feel like whoever you might be expecting a child with is probably not the healthiest relationship. You might have moved out from that situation as well. Or honestly, you might be in the situation right now as to where you're living with this person. Probably because you guys live together, there might be some monetary ties there. I don't see pentacles energy on the board. I see a lot of air, fire, and water. Only a little bit though. So I really feel like this is more so just for survival purposes, you know? And like, I can't knock y'all. It's Times are tough nowadays, especially if you're expecting. 
it's definitely more it definitely saves you time space and money to like reside with somebody else and i feel like i just feel like the person you're expecting with because you see the chains i have friends you know and now granted every day is different friends right so just take this my friends always say that if they do like if they were to have a baby with somebody they're not happy with they always feel like they're tied to them because of the child and i feel like you guys are definitely pregnant and with the three of wands, I feel like you guys are just waiting for the pregnancy to pretty much come and to pretty much come and go. Um, but I also feel like you're waiting on, you're really waiting for this person probably to change their, you know, change their ways. This person could have addiction problems and addiction is not just with drugs. It could be addicted to, I don't know, like just negative things. Like, sorry, I'm drawing a blank. Like addicted to drugs, it could be addicted to texting, it could be used to their phone, could be addicted to pornography, like a lot of different things. And here with the Ace of Swords, I think you're no longer allowing for yourself to kind of live in this like isolated state. And then you're gonna be honest with yourself and be like, look, this is the situation we're in, we're pregnant, the person that we're dealing with is not the best, but we have to do something to fix it, period. Period. You're going to have a huge stroke of clarity coming your way. And with the Wheel of Fortune, it's going to work in your favor, though. Whatever you realize or whatever clarity does come into your life, it is going to give you closure. It's going to give you clarity. And it's going to go in your favor. Tens represent new cycles. So there's definitely going to be a new cycle starting within this situation. I do feel like that the love situation you're in, because I, even with the Devil card, now mind you, the lovers in the Devil card, that is the lovers. So I feel like you definitely do love this person. I think that there's love there. Um, I do think that it might be going away a little bit. But regardless, this situation is stressing you out, Leo. Like, it's stressing you out. And I think you just can't avoid it anymore. And you're honestly going to have to. You're going to have to confront it and do something about it. Here with the Six of Wands, this is all about, you know, like moving forward towards victory. And this is fire energy again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I think that you're being very optimistic. I do. I think that you're being very optimistic about the situation because I do feel like you really want the best for your child and I do feel like you want the best for yourself as well because I do think that whoever you're expecting a child with does make you happy to a certain extent. And with the Knight of Cups, this is still reminding me that you are still keeping a cup of love for yourself. You're being smart. Like I said, the high priestess is. She is emotional. She is loving. She will love you. But she's also smart enough to know that you can't give all your love away to one person. You know? And that's just the situation you're in. It's a little toxic. <laughs> Honestly, the situation is a little toxic. And I think it's a lot for you to be expecting during this time, too. But let's pull some cards from the after tarot and let's see if there's anything else, like maybe some advice or maybe what can happen in the future with this situation. What more can I give Leo? What more can you tell us about the situation? This one wanted to pop out, pop out, but it didn't. It was the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Look at this. Four of Wands starting off the reading again. Then we have the Knight of Swords. Then we have the Five of Swords. Then we have the Hangman. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles that actually now just popped up. I'm gonna move these up. Okay, 
we have the seven of, excuse me, eight of cups. These cards are flying. Then we have the hermit. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups. The Four of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. take it we have the queen of swords so okay leo i definitely see what's going on so starting off the reading with the four of wands like i said in the beginning this is definitely dealing with you're living with somebody that you're not happy with like period and this is definitely dealing with a home situation so four of wands again is fire energy airy leo and sag following up we have the knight of swords I feel like you are going to open up to, to this person about your unhappiness, about living together. And I do think that it's just going to end up in an argument where both parties are not satisfied. And fives represent change. So I definitely feel like from this conversation, change is going to happen. And Leo, you're taking on this like almost like in limbo, like whatever God or the universe has for me in line after this. In regards to this situation and my next chapter in life, I'm fine. I'm just going to wait here and just, you know, basically listen to God and wait for it. So I definitely feel like you opened up about your unhappiness and, you know, you're still unhappy. So it's like whatever. Here with the Eight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. This is all about looking at everything, all the practicalities and like in life that you've worked on. And in particular, this is about you looking at all of the efforts that you put into this partnership and put into this relationship. So I feel like you really are just like weighing out your options. I really think you're weighing on should I leave this situation for good and like go start my own life by myself and take care of this child basically on my own? Or should I stay with this person and try to work it out? But emotionally, you are feeling very torn. But I do think that you feel like your person has walked away from you emotionally already. And you already feel emotionally alone and emotionally just distraught, you know? And I think... I think they're there, like I feel like their presence presence is there, but they're not fulfilling your emotional needs anymore. And I don't think they have for a long time, which is why you've really been in this hermit mode and you really haven't been talking much. You have really been saying much. You know, you're really just trying to be comfortable within yourself. And I think at this point, I think you're relying on yourself for a lot. And it's emotional stability, you know, money, finances, I think you really are just standing in solidarity right now. I know earlier in the reading, I did mention that you two probably do have monetary ties, which I mean, obviously, if you guys live together, but here with the Ten of Pentacles, this is all about, you know, home life and having an established home life. However, with the Hermit card, I really feel like that you really are thinking about just going on and living on your own. You see how the baby is still in the photo, but you don't see the mom and the dad, like the couple in the original tarot. Yeah, I think you really are just really going to venture onto this chapter on your own. And I do think that this reading is for a very particular group of Leos out there. But I do feel like you guys need to hear this. Because regardless, you have two tens here. So that's two new cycles. You're going to be starting a new cycle emotionally. Probably moving back in with family, maybe getting that love back to yourself. And then also here's another ten, which I said is like the end of living with the situation that you were at. So there's endings, but there's also going to be new beginnings. Here with the Four of Cups, I do think that the person you're dealing with probably is going to come back with another offering, but you don't want it. And Cup energy is emotion, so they could be coming back with an apology or an offer of reconciliation. 
However, Leo, I definitely don't think you're taking it. I think you're too focused on what has happened in the past with all of these spilled cups on the board and in the first reading. I think you're just like, you know what? I put so much time and effort into this that it's just not paying off. And you're taking, you are literally taking what you put into this and you're walking away. Like, there's not much, like, there's nothing else I can say about this card. Like, you're really just taking whatever you can and you're dipping. And you're living in your truth and you're being a queen about it. Queen of Swords energy, air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. It's all about being honest, living in your truth, and, you know, just, like, living your life in a very clear and transparent way. So, for whoever, whoever this reading was for, first, I definitely wish you a very successful and safe delivery. Um, secondly, I think that you need to make sure that you're healthy for your baby as well. So if this situation, if you feel like you can't be healthy mentally, spiritually, emotionally, it's not for you. It's not for you. Let it go because I can assure you that the universe will always have a new offering for you. So Leo, that's your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you at the next one.